Welcome back to daytime on Rogers TV. Getting really excited about the 2015 edition of VegFest. Yep, it's coming up on November 14th at the Western Fair District. And back from the very first VegFest, it is Tamarine by Quinn Nee. And we were welcomed by co owners, uh, Long Fan and Nee Fan. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having us. Uh, Long, first of all, this, is your, this will be your second time at VegFest. What was it about that, that first VegFest? that made you go, yeah, this is a really worthwhile event that we need to experience again? Well, at our restaurant, we have uh, a huge percentage of uh, vegetarian folks that, you know, like to enjoy all aspects and uh, vegan friendly as well. So when we heard the opportunity, when Krista was putting it together and approaches it, we we're like, okay, we're on board for that, you know, and uh, <clears throat> showcased a couple of our samplings there and it worked out great. So what did you learn from that first veg fest that you're going to change up for uh, for this year? Or did you do it perfectly the first time? No, no, no. There's no such thing as perfection. We had some hiccups and stuff, right? But we didn't know what to expect first time out and all, right? But uh, for, for the amount of people that showed up that it wasn't... Uh, Krista didn't even know what to expect, right? Sure. But the amount of people that showed up in support of, because it's local and, and it's like, um, it, it's it's a good way for you to sample. There was a lot of meat eaters there too, you know what I mean? But uh, they tried a lot of stuff. Well, yeah. because it's, I, I mean, yes, it's about vegetarian and vegan food, but it's right. also about just food that tastes great. Ne what will you be providing for uh, folks who come to VegFest this year? Um, so this year we'll be doing the uh, vegetarian um, uh, crispy spring rolls as well as the uh, fresh summer rolls that I'm going to be showing you how to do in a little bit. All right, well, um, why don't we actually get, uh, let's get started. So I, I want to make sure we don't run out of time so I mm -hmm. have a chance to eat as well <laughs> when we get to the uh, end, of, end of this. So take us, what, what defines a fresh roll? Um, fresh roll is, um, we use mostly all the fresh in ingredients and um, the, um, instead of the uh, uh, deep fried um, uh, spring roll that we have, right. we, we do the uh, fresh paper rolls. That way um, everything is non-deep fried and it's very healthy and it's very fresh. So this is just uh, this is just plain rice paper, is that what that is? Yes it is. All right, so what um, do we need to do with this? So we're gonna soak it a little bit in the room temperature water. Just enough to make it soft and, and pliable, yes, and pliable, I'm guessing? Yes. Beautiful. And so what we'll do is we put it on a flat surface so it's easier for us to work with. Okay. And now what we do is we take a little bit of the fresh um, lettuce. Lovely. And, yes. And then we have cucumber, fresh cucumber. So long. While Nee puts this together, is this uh, obviously this is something that's probably pretty popular at the restaurant? Absolutely, it's one of our most uh, most populars. Uh, in addition to you know the crispy rolls and whatnot, if you like the crunch factor. Um, in, in addition to the, the summer rolls that we'll be featuring at VegFast, we do offer in shrimp form, uh, barbecue pork, um, tofu, and the newest one would be the avocado rolls. Ooh. Yeah, all of this is served going to be with the homemade peanut sauce. That oh. is, okay. Is that what's, uh, what's out here in front? Yeah, okay, right. I don't want right. to jump too far <laughs> ahead, but uh, Nee, let's, uh, let's get back to work here. So we've got uh, just some of the lettuce and some cucumber. And then we have um, pickled carrots. Lovely, pickled carrots. And, and we have a little bit of the sprout, add that in for the crunch. Beautiful. And then here is we, um, the vermicelli noodles. Lovely, vermicelli. So w what exactly is a, a vermicelli noodle? Is it just a, is it a, a rice noodle? Yes, it is a rice-based noodle. Okay. And um, It's almost like angel hair pasta noodles. Yeah. yeah. You know? Maybe a little thicker than angel hair, but not much. Mm. So what we do is we fold one side of it and the other side, see. It looks very delicate. It is. <laughs> so that's why we need to use room temperature water rather than uh, warm water because as soon as you soak it in warm water, it's gonna, um, it's gonna stick really um, hard to the surface. So we don't want that. And oh. Oh, you broke it. Yes, well, <laughs> <laughs> we forgot the most important ingredient, there which is the mint leaf. Oh, mint leaves. Yes, you can't leave this out. It's you will add Pun the absolutely intended. Yes. Can't mm -hmm. leave it out. <laughs> so obviously it's not a big deal if you do break it because you are rolling it with yes. so many different layers. That's right. That's no, why she's a professional. Yeah, yeah, I want to take a look at this because uh, <laughs> that is pro. That looks. There we go. That looks beautiful, uh, and uh, I think that's the one thing about uh, Vietnamese food. It just, uh, it, in so many ways, it is so colorful and so beautiful to look at. Do you, uh, okay. do you, do you need me to make one? 
Sure. Get to make one? Well, <laughs> let's try it. <laughs> yeah, let's <laughs> Well, let's see. Don't go too far because <laughs> I might I'm absolutely going to need your help. All right, so just soak it a little bit. Yes. This is not something that we will get to do at VegFest, right? Make <laughs> you don't have a make your own fresh roll bar at VegFest. That's a good idea. Yeah. I'm not sure that is a good idea. You haven't seen me you make one. You want all the yet. water there. That's right. All right, there, there we go. We go. And then yeah. put it in full. Yeah. Down it goes. I'm going to go with a little bit of lettuce. Some lettuce. Just some mint. And Add more lettuce. And you put if the you mint like. on the outside, but was that just because we were late putting it in or No, just for the look. Right. You okay. can put it inside. I want it right inside. Sure. <laughs> so you want it to move that a little. Okay. Closer, oh, because I have to roll it that way. That's right. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. So do we? Does the menu at the restaurant change frequently, long, or or is it pretty consistent? It's pretty consistent. We stick with uh, you know what uh, majority of our clientele uh, like. Uh, customers they 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 enjoy like the fresh Vietnamese cuisine is um, becoming more mainstream now as far as. Uh, um, people are realizing it's it's the more uh, healthy of the Asian cuisines, right? Oh, we right. use a lot of fresh uh, fresh herbs and spices and whatnot. Not a lot of oil in our cooking, as far as we don't we don't have a lot of deep fried and stuff too. Some so okay, yeah. Here we go. I just want to see if I can see if I can do this oh, without you ripping it. Yeah. The the, uh, the, uh, the restaurant is uh, located at uh, where is it? Long again? We're at 118 Dundas Street. That's downtown in the heart of it all. Uh, Dundas and Talbot is uh, we're. Kitty corner to uh, the Budweiser Gardens there. <laughs> You're doing pretty good I'm there. I'm not doing too bad. It's pretty, pretty good. You didn't tell me how sticky it was. <laughs> Here's an idea. Get me to make your fresh rolls and join them at VegFest coming up on November 14th from 10 until 6. Guys, thank you, you so much it. for this. Yeah. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much. We're Thanks back with more daytime right after I eat this. <laughs> Pen this one into your day timer. Sunday, November 8th, it is the Maycourt Marketplace at the Hellenic Center. Visit maycourtlondon.ca for all the details. For more community events, go to rogerstv.com.